What if all of the Earth's ice were to melt completely? Let's find out. First of all, the global sea level would rise by approximately 70 metres. The effects would be immediate and irreversible. Every current coastline would be redrawn. Large portions of today's major cities would vanish beneath expanding seas with devastating consequences. In North America, the Atlantic Ocean would reclaim the eastern seaboard. Cities like New York, Boston and Washington, D.C. would be submerged entirely. Florida would disappear almost completely. The Mississippi River would widen into a vast estuary reaching as far north as Illinois. The Central Valley of California, now among the world's richest agricultural regions, would transform into a broad bay. South America would experience similar changes. The Amazon Basin, lying close to sea level today, would be flooded to form a vast inland sea, isolating parts of Brazil's highlands. Europe wouldn't escape the chaos. It would be transformed into an archipelago. London, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Paris and Venice would disappear beneath new coastlines. Africa, although less affected by sea level rise due to its high average elevation, would not escape unscathed. The Nile Delta, which supports much of Egypt's population, would vanish, displacing tens of millions. Asia would suffer catastrophic losses in population centres. Bangladesh, already vulnerable to minor sea level rise, would disappear almost entirely. Coastal cities across India, Southeast Asia and China would be lost. Australia would lose most of its densely populated coastal zones. The country's interior, though elevated, is barren and would not easily support displaced populations. Island nations, including the Maldives, Kiribati and Tuvalu, would cease to exist almost immediately. However, the loss of land would only be the beginning. The sudden input of such a massive volume of fresh water would disrupt the thermohaline circulation, the global system of ocean currents that regulates climate. The Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, which includes the Gulf Stream, would likely collapse, plunging Western Europe into colder conditions even as the rest of the world heats up. Monsoon systems across Asia and Africa would destabilise, destroying agriculture and fresh water supplies. The release of methane from the thawing permafrost in Siberia would trigger rapid and extreme warming. Siberia holds one of the world's largest reservoirs of methane, trapped for tens of thousands of years beneath frozen soils. Methane is over 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide, meaning its release would cause temperatures to spike sharply, potentially raising global averages by up to 10 degrees Celsius. These temperature rises would render large parts of the planet uninhabitable. The equatorial regions would become intolerably hot, forcing human populations to migrate towards the poles. Agriculture would collapse in many parts of the world, particularly in current breadbasket regions such as the American Midwest, the Indian subcontinent and eastern China. Over longer timescales, new stable coastlines would eventually emerge. Coral reefs would form around the submerged remnants of old cities, vegetation would recolonize floodplains, and new biomes would develop. However, for human civilization, built around a specific and narrow climatic window, the transition would be catastrophic. The complete melting of Earth's ice would not simply reshape geography, it would mark the end of life as we know it.